Okay, many of you know this as artichoke. You uh, cook them and then you peel them. They're, we love artichoke, artichoke hearts. Um, you get artichoke uh, dressing, artichoke, uh, what is it, sour cream. That's always good. But have you ever seen an artichoke flower? Do you think this could be a beautiful flower? You'll see these in arrangements, but you rarely see them like this. Look. This is... Would you pull one of these out, honey? P pull, pull this out so I can show people. Just pull, pull that out. Ugh. So they can see this is an artichoke heart and it's purple in the middle. You can see a little bit of the purple, but when you leave it to flower on the bush, it becomes a beautiful flower. Bet you didn't know that, huh? And you know how hydrangeas, the, I have uh, a lot of flowers. I have dahlias, and these are hydrangeas. These are different hydrangeas. And you take, uh, I like to put, make a lot of uh, flower arrangements. But you know how when you do lilacs and hydrangeas and they droop? Well, I'll give you a little hint. How to keep them from drooping is you take, oh, I can take the scissors and pound it. I pound the stem and that opens up channels to keep it from so it can have a water channel or you can I use a rubber mallet I do that to my dahlias not my dahlias but anything woodsy like your hydrangeas because and your lilacs and other flowers so now when you smash it it has a way to soak up the water so that won't wilt so just a just a few flower hints you can add a little bit of bleach a few drops of bleach to your water and that keeps it from getting yucky but uh, my dahlias are just now coming on but my big white ones are I call them my beefy boys. I'll show you some of my other dahlias, or not dahlias. Yeah, I have dahlias, but hydrangeas, different, different hydrangeas. The heat just destroys the hydrangeas. Here in Oregon, we don't have that too many days that it's over 100. It was 104. I have white hydrangeas. And these beautiful, but like I said, the heat is getting to them. And then I have this starlight hydrangea. I cut it back, but anyway, I changed the colors. You can put pennies or soda ash. You could raise, raise or lower the pH. I use pool chemicals from our hot tub. And then what about this? This is just one plant and it has varied colors. It's got your periwinkle, blue, your light lavender, dark lavender, kind of a burgundy and a pink. Very unusual. And then this one's called Double Delight. It's, this is a hydrangea, and it's called Double Delight. 